Now, let's randomly answer question at nakakomment ito sa channel na to. Galing to kay Marijon Amato. Tatlong word problems ito, so isa-isahin natin. Number one. A man buys a lot for 55,000 pesos and builds a house worth 180,000 pesos. If the profit is 55,000 pesos, what is the selling price? Tagalugin natin. Ito ay simpleng word problem lang. Bumili siya ng lupa na nagkakahalagang 55,000 pesos. Tapos gumastos siya sa bahay, ng, nagpagawa siya ng bahay, na nagkakahalaga ng 180,000 pesos. So, ang lahat-lahat na nagasto niya ay, this is, 13 carry 1, 235,000 pesos. Yan yung kabuuan na nagastos niya. Ngayon, ang tanong, if the profit is 55,000, kung makaginan siya daw siya ng 55,000, what is the selling price? Magkano daw ito kung ibenta niya? So therefore, kung meron ka ng total sa naggastos niya, i-add up mo lang yung 55 na dapat iginan siya niya. So this is 10 carry 1, 9, 2. Dapat niyang ibenta ang property niya sa halagang 290,000 pesos para meron siyang ginan siyang 55,000 pesos. So, ang sagot dito ay itong letter B. Number 2. A rectangular lot measures 44 meters length and 38 meters width. If the cost of the fence is 500 pesos per span of 2 meters, how much cost to fence the whole lot? I-drawing natin para ma-visualize nyo. Rectangular lot. So, ito ay 44 meters. So, therefore, yung kabila ay 44 din. Ito ay 38. So, therefore, sa kabila ay 38. Ngayon, wag na natin itotal lahat. Total per 2 meters. So, ito lang dalawa ang itotal natin. 44 plus 38. This is equals to 82. Itong 82 na to, yan ang i-multiply natin ng 5 100. Mamaya na yung 0. So, 82 times 5 and that is equals to 410 at idagdag mo yung dalawang 0. So, therefore, ang sagot sa how much cost to fence the whole lot, 41,000 pesos. Asa yan? Letter A. Isa pang paliwanag at tagalugin natin. Meron tayong rectangular lot. Yung length ng isa ay 44. Yung width naman ay 48. So, bali, yung perimeter ay itotal. Ang ibig sabihin ng perimeter, yung total niya, yung kabuuan. Kasi yan yung lalagyan natin ng bakot. So, ang ginawa natin kanina ay ito lang ang tinototal natin. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo na i-add natin yan lahat. Pwede namang ganito ang 44 times 2, tapos, or ganito, wait. Pwede ganito, 44 plus 38 times 2, at yan yung perimeter natin, yung kabuhuan. So, 44 plus 38, and that is equals to 82. 82 times 2, and that is equals to 164. Yan yung kabuhuan. And take note, every 2 meters, 
ang cost niya ay 500. So, therefore, itong 164 ay i-divide natin ng 2. Pabalik-balik lang tayo. And this is equals to 82. So, yung 82 na yan, yan yung i-multiply natin ng 500. And that is equals to 41,000 pesos. Kaya yung kanina, ito lang dalawa ang ina-add natin. Then, Yan lang ang multiply natin ng 500. Bali, shortcut. Kasi man, every 2 meters, 500. Kaya yan na yung sagot, 41,000 pesos. Number 3. Jeff and June start their travel at 4 p.m. And travel in opposite directions. Jeff walks at 1.5 kilometers per hour. While ja, uh, jo, Jun walks 3 kilometers per hour. At what time will they be 9 kilometers apart? Let's do the Kanto style method of solving this. Isulat natin si Jeff. At ito naman si Jun. Ang speed ni Jeff ay 1 Point five kilometers per hour. Yung isa naman ay 3 kilometers per hour. In other words, after 1 hour, maka 1.5 na si Jeff, si John naman ay maka 3 kilometers. Ibig sabihin yan ay in 1 hour, 4.5 kilometers away from each other. Now, obviously, itong 4.5 ay half yan sa 9. So, therefore, another 1.5 kilometer per hour at isang 3 kilometer, kilometers per hour. And that is equal to 4.5 kilometers. This is equal to 9 kilometers. So, therefore... After 2 hours, sila ay 9 kilometers away na. So, anong oras yun ang umpisa? 4 p.m. After 2 hours, and that is 6 p.m. So, at what time will they be at 9 kilometers apart? Ang sagot ay 6 p.m. Letter A. Now, let's do solution number 2. Dito sa solution number 2, gawa tayo na tawagin natin itong algebraic way of solving this. Where D1, distance 1, ay yun yung distance ni Jeff. At itong distance 2, yan yung distance ni June. So, distance 1 plus distance 2 is equals to 9 kilometers apart. Now, yung formula sa rate distance time, no need nang i-memorize. Always yung nasa mismong problem, sa given problem. Kapag sinabing kilometers per hour, yan ay rate. So, rate is equals to kilometers, that is distance. Then, per hour, per hour, hour means time. Ngayon, hinahanap natin yung distance. Kasi yung distance ng dalawa must be equals to 9. So, itong time na to, i-transfer natin sa kabila para si distance na lang ang matitira dyan. So, itong time, since pang-divide siya sa distance, pang-multiply na siya sa rate. So, this is distance is equals to rate times time. Now, doon tayo sa distance 1 natin, which is si Jeff. Ang rate niya ay 1.5. Di ba? Rate times time. So, 1.5 times t. Yan, ang hinahanap natin, yung T na yan. Plus, si June. 
3 kilometers per hour. So, 3 times yung time. Kasi yung time ang hinahanap natin. In other words, distance 1, ito yung 1.5 times time. So, distance 2, this is 3 times time. And this is equals to 9. Since like terms man yan, so pwede natin i-add yan siya. 1.5t plus 3t and that is equals to 4.5t equals 9. Para makuha natin yung time, since si 4.5 pang multiply sa time, pang divide na siya ngayon sa 9. Now, t is equals to 9 divided by 4.5 and that is equals to 2. Ang pinag-usapan natin dito ay hours. So, time is equals to 2 hours. Therefore, ang sagot sa at what time will they be at 9 kilometers apart after 2 hours? So, nag-start sila ng 4 p.m. After 2 hours, and that is 6 PM. Kaya ang sagot dito ay itong letter A. I-double check na natin kung itong time ay equals to 2. So, itong T is equals to 2 hours. So, si letter T ay equals, ang value niya ay 2 hours. Distance 1. 1 1.5 times 2 and that is equals to 3. So, 3 kilometers si Jeff. Plus... 3 times 2, and that is equals to 6. Maka 6 kilometers naman itong si June. 3 plus 6, and that is exactly the same as 9. So, therefore, ang tamang sagot dito ay itong 6 p.m. Kasi nag-umpisa sila ng 4 p.m. After 2 hours, 6 p.m. na siya. Thank you for watching, and God bless.